This video is going to be a whirlwind tour of the material from the measure theory section. So this is going to be a summary. And if you're really not interested in measure theory at all, you could watch this video and extract the barest minimum of content that you will need to understand the rest of the series. But I highly recommend watching the measure theory videos because it will definitely deepen your understanding of the material that's to come. So here we go. A sigma algebra on omega, a set omega, is a collection which we write by A, which is contained in the power set of omega. So it's a collection of subsets of omega such that 1 if a set E is in A, that implies its complement is in A. So it's closed under complements. And two, if a sequence of sets, a countable sequence, is in A, that implies the union of all of them is in A. So it's closed under countable unions. And this implies that it's also closed under finite unions. Next, definition. A probability measure P on sigma A, the set, uh, rather omega, on the set omega with sigma algebra A, is a function P from A to the interval 0, 1. such that 1 p of the empty set is 0 and p of omega is 1 and 2 given a sequence of pairwise disjoint sets the probability of the union let me make a little more space here as i goes from 1 to infinity of those sets equals the sum of the probabilities of the sets for any sequence e1, e2, and so on in A that are pairwise Disjoint. Disjoint. A few properties. So here's a couple of remarks. Some properties of probability measures. A simple one. The probability of E union F two sets in our sigma algebra equals the probability of E plus the probability of F minus the probability of the intersection. That's for E and F in A. Another simple property is that the probability of E equals 1 minus the probability of its complement for any measurable E. So let me number these. 
one, two. It's a different color. Three. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Property three. If E is contained in F, then the probability of E is less or equal to the probability of F for E and F in A. And this is called monotonicity. Four. If we have a sequence E1, E2 in A, then the probability of the union of those sets is less or equal to, that's less or equal to, the sum of all of them, all of their probabilities, that is. And this is called subadditivity. If E1 is contained in E2, is contained in E3, and so on, then the probability of the union of all of them equals the limit of the measures of the probabilities, that is. So it equals the limit as i goes to infinity of their probabilities. And this is for where all these sets are in R sigma algebra A. 6. In the case of a probability measure, if E1 contains E2, contains E3, and so on, then the probability of the intersection of all of them equals the limit as i goes to infinity of the probabilities. This property is called continuity from below, and this property is called continuity from above. Now, another definition. CDF. A CDF, or cumulative distribution function, is a function f from r to r. It's a real valued function on the line such that 1. I'll write it this way. If x is less or equal to y, that implies f of x is less or equal to f of y. Less or equal to. In other words, f is non-decreasing. 2. The limit as x approaches a from above for any number a, and also, of course, this is for any x and y, in R of so the limit as X approaches a from above of f of X equals f of a in other words f is right continuous so a CDF satisfies all these properties 3 the limit as X goes to infinity of f of X equals 1 and 4 the limit as x goes to minus infinity of f of x equals 0. So a CDF looks something like this. It goes up, it could jump, but it's got to be right continuous. could jump again, jump a bunch of times, but eventually, 
it levels off, converges to 1. And finally, our last item in the summary is the theorem. Theorem on the correspondence between CDFs and Borel probability measures. So there is, well, let me say it this way. The relation f of x equals the probability of the set from minus infinity to x, including x, defines an equivalence between CDFs, f, and I'll put this in parentheses since I haven't defined it. In this particular video, Borel probability measures P. In other words, for any CDF F, this relation defines a unique Borel probability measure on the real line. Now this is this is specialized to the real line and probability measures P let me say on R. So for any CDF F, this defines a unique Borel probability measure. And for any Borel probability measure on R, this defines a unique CDF F. So that's the summary of material, the even more bare essentials of this material.